Thank you for the opportunity of speaking to the committee and to the public about this issue. Uh, I am the one, Mr. Darrell, and the committee who wrote to Liberty Council initially and gave you the information that they would defend this if it ever went to court pro bono. I am the person that sent that letter and asked that to be done. All right. I did that back in July. And back in July, the first thing I said after the Pledge of Allegiance was, why are you so concerned about this banner when you just got through saying, one nation under God? Why are you so concerned about that? Now the banner does not cite God or Jesus at all. It simply begins with our Heavenly Father. But the few have stated they are offended by that. So why should the many concede to the few? I am tired of conceding, ladies and gentlemen. I am tired of conceding to the ACLU. I say it's time to stop the ACLU's effort to blacklist our faith, and I think this is what it's doing, blacklisting our faith. People have said something about the Constitution here. The majority who signed the Constitution were pastors and religious people with a firm belief in their faith, but they argued for no one faith, but all faiths. The words Heavenly Father covers all of that. But I don't believe any group has the right to restrict my belief in public places which I believe this is what this intends to do. I don't think any of us should stand for that. 30 seconds, sir. So I ask you, in all seriousness, are we willing to give to our, up our morality? Are we willing to give up our ethics? Are we willing to give up our beliefs just because of you complain? I am not, sir. And I don't believe the rest of this room are.